Welcome to Jesse Junction. I'm MC Jesse. Now, thank you for your SMSs and thank you for letting me know the kind of guests that you want to see on Jesse Junction. For today, I have one great guy who came to be with us, Upper Kino on Jesse Junction. This guy is well known as a, a Secretary General. Secretary. Can you talk about Secretary General? SG. SG. Or National Organi National Ordinary People's Economic Union, no PU party, and also an entrepreneur and son of one of the greatest politicians from Meru County, one and only Rogers Kipembe Mporo Avori. Karibu kwenye Jesse Junction, Rogers. Thank you very much. Sasa unaitwa Rogers Kipembe. Unajua watu wengi wananiulizanga nikuulize kama Kipembe. Unajua Kongolizi ni wanaita Kimpembe ya mobili mobimba. <laughs> so, <laughs> Kipembe ni jina yako? Kipembe is my name. My, real, my middle name. Eh? Hey. Yes. Baba yako alikuita Kipembe? Alika hapa wakaniita Kipembe. <laughs> <laughs> Ushai kutana na wakongolizi waka kumistake na, hey, na Kikongo. Wengi sana. Eh? Hey. <laughs> wengi sana. Uh -huh. But there is Mpambe, the, the footballer. Uh -huh. And there is Kipembe in Masai also. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Kipembe, uh -huh. tuko wachacha sana. Na Kimpembe. Eh, Pia eh, ule footballer, footballer Kimpembe. Kimpembe yeah. Wow. So Rogers, yes. Kipembe. Unajua in Nairobi pia watu wanakuona unatembea. Yes. Anakujua number plate ya gari yako imeandikwa Kipembe. Kipembe. So uwezi jificha. Na jificha wakati mingi kwa sababu wajui magari yote. <laughs> <laughs> Si yote imeandikwa. Si yote. Hiyo ni ya kwenda siyasa. Kwaani ni ngapi? Eh, Kafa haziko <laughs> mingi. <laughs> eh? Eh. Mwaja tu ndi imeandikwa kipembe? Eh, Kafa hazi imeandikwa pia. Kafa? Mm. Na Kafa hazi ngini hazijandikwa? Yes, yes. <laughs> ha? Mimi, mimi ni kijaribu kuandika yangu. Eh. Eh? Eh. eh. <laughs> Kila mtu atakuwa na niona deji. <laughs> Kwa jwande ule? Ah, merudi hivi. <laughs> Ah, ndiye ule amepita. Eh. Ni kenda meru anajua ndiye huyu. Ni ni kama moja. Wewe jua ndiko wako. So what do you do? I'm a business. I'm a business person. I do I own several companies. And uh, basically I'm a business person. I'm a very hard working business person. What do you do? Ni biashara gani unafanya? Nafanya biashara mob sana. Na niko kwa financial sector. I I have a microfinance. Aha. Uh -huh. Niko kwa magari, niko na yadi ya salvage cars on Bunyala Red. Uh -huh. I'm equal in construction mm -hmm. and uh, also in real estate. How do you manage all this? Eh, na badu siyasa? Eh, unajua siyasa siyo kazi. Uh -huh. Siyasa ni fun. Uh -huh. yeah? So kazi ni unayele unafanya weekday uh -huh. from 5 in the morning uh -huh. to 8 in the evening. Uh -huh. So you manage ukiwa soba. Well, you're organized. You mm -hmm. know where, which company to attend, what meeting to attend at what time. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I don't want to add anything else because I will start to sana pia ziongwe. Oh, hizo zenyo konazo sahi. Tosha, enough. Zime tosha. Na manage. You ride with them. Good. Na siyasa ni fun. Siyasa ni fun. Na that siyasa is what fun. you added the other day. <coughs> yes. Okay, sasa ni kuulize kipembe. Mm. Where were you born and where did you grow up? I was born in Meru County. Uh-huh. Tigania East Sub County. Uh-huh. Mekindo reward, uh -huh. Adoana location, <laughs> and on a village. <laughs> uko ndani? Uko ndani ushago? Ndani kapsa bro. Na uko ndi ulisomea? Nilisomea uko mpaka mi, mid uh, lower classes. Uh -huh. Mpaka cl around class, class 4, class 5. Which school was about that? St. Benedict Primary School, ya Catholic School. <laughs> then I went to Amedo Boarding. Amedo? <laughs> <laughs> Amelo means amacho, eyes. Shule inaitwa Amelo. Mtumikuru huko. Baridi. Ukasomea shule inaitwa Amelo. Hapo. So ukiandika CV si watu watadhani unaandika na mother. Unalenga. Hmm? Si unaruka hapo sasa una nini? Then where did you go to high school? I went to Moifosis Academy. Hapo hmm. sasa. And I went to Catholic University. Ai. Hapo. Eh? eh? Na bado tunaendelea kusoma na soma bado. You're doing what masters? No, mm -hmm. I'm doing my my second degree mm -hmm. on business uh, on on uh, entrepreneurship. Okay. Yes. Very well. important. My I'm about to finish academy. Unataka kuniambia ulikuwa bright hivyo ama ulikosa kupata marks za kwenda I mean uh, uh, GPA. I mean itangwa grade ya kwenda university ukaenda Catholic University. 
Ah, kabi ni kwa sababu ya kungoja intake. Mm -hmm. Unajua pia mzazi ataki ile break ya one year, two years. Yes. So I preferred going to the private university. Uh -huh. Yes. So now reason. let me ask you, you are born in a political family. Yes. Your father is a member of the East Africa Legislative Assembly. Assembly. True. Uh, Honorable Mpuru Abori, who yes. was also a member of parliament, Tigania East, East mm -hmm. constituency yes. from Meru. Now you are born in that family. Yes. Uh, him being a politician, uh, a very loud person when it comes to politics in mm. Meru, yes. did it affect you and did it or did it impact you the way umekuja kukua huyu kipembe sasa? You know, uh, of course there is a positive impact mm. from being born from a political family. Mm. Equally, there is a, a lot of negativity from uh, people. Yeah, but it has uh, impacted me to be who I am, to appreciate uh, people, and to also to appreciate siasa, because uh, it brings positive change. So it has impacted me as a person to be a politician. I am not a candidate, and I don't want to be a candidate, yeah, but I am a politician. Do you have political ambitions? Or I do you I, see I, yourself I, becoming maybe a member of parliament or something from... You see, you see uh, <coughs> the, the only motive for, for you, if you want to be a leader, why you want to be a leader is because you want to bring positive change to the society, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in parliament to bring change. Everyone is a leader. You equally a leader in your own family. Mm -hmm. You can bring change from wherever you are, even as a citizen. Yeah? So I don't need to be in parliament to bring change, really. I have been a politician, I have been a kingmaker, I have been a financer, I have been a sponsor to politicians. So I'll bring change by bringing in uh, new faces to parliament, new faces to the, to the local assemblies, yeah? But I don't see myself being a member of parliament. I don't want really to be a member of parliament, what for? I can bring change from outside, I don't need to be a member of parliament. I don't see myself being a member of parliament in the near future. So why did you form the party national Ordinary, Ordinary People's, People's Empowerment, Empowerment Union. Union. Why I formed the party <coughs> is because this is a party for the young person. You see, getting really engaged in politics through a developed party like ODM or PNU or Jubilee is a bit hard because most of them, they ask for money. These young candidates doesn't have money. They sell certificates. These young candidates doesn't have money really to buy certificates, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I formed a party for the local monarchy who wants to buy and bring true change without really spending a lot of money. And again, the developed parties, most of them want to work with those, uh, the old guard, you know, the, the guys who formed the party, they want to remain as officials for the party, they want to make decisions for the, maybe the executive council. For me, I formed this party to give it, eventually I'll give it out to the, to the RAIA. I'm just an interim secretary general. Mm -hmm. So once we have all, all, um, all, uh, everything is formed properly, we have enough offices and all structure working well, we'll give it to the people. So because uh, the reason I'm asking about the party is because yes. uh, I know very well about the politics of the county of Meru. Yes. And uh, when they see one person now going into uh, forming a party or being mentioned in the political arena, kama kawaida watasema uyu anataka ki? Kiti. Anataka kiti. So <coughs> you want to actually tell me that even with the national, uh, with uh, the party is called Nopeo. Nopeo. Nopeo party. Yes. So you are not going to vie for a political seat in Meru County. I assure you. That mm -hmm. I will not vie for any position, not only in Meru County, yes. but in the whole country, through the party. I'm a secretary general. I want, to, uh, I want to help people. I want to finance as many candidates as possible through the party, mm -hmm. but not for myself. The motive for the party, any party is to form government. You don't need, as, uh, as an official, you don't need to be a member of parliament. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah? The, uh, Edwin Sifuna is not a member of parliament. Rafael Tuju is, is, I don't know why he sits in the cabinet. Is a <laughs> is a CS without a portfolio, yeah, without any duty, yeah. Yes. So basically, I will not vie for any political seat, and I don't want you to keep on mentioning the party and Meru 
This is yes. not a Meru party. Uh -huh. This is a national party. Yes. It's just that the grassroots is in Meru. Yes. But it is not a Meru party. It is a national party. It's a national party. That's why it's called National, national. Ordinary People's Empowerment Union. So the person in Capedo, the person in Turkana, Kanivai, Mombasa, yes. they are everywhere, officials. Lamu. We, we, have, we have 24 offices in the country. Yes. Which is mandatory mm -hmm. for you to form a political party. Yes. Yeah? For you to get the certificate of registration mm -hmm. from the ORPP. Yes. And these 24 counties, for 24 offices are in 24 counties. Yes. So we have it, it systems in 24 counties. And we love so many members of parliament. Yes. We love so many members of the, of the county, county assembly. assembly. Different assemblies, different counties, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all these people that uh, mostly you, uh, that will be vying with the party. What is the benefit that young people, someone is watching us right now yes. from uh, Laisamis. Yes. A young person wants to vie for yes. a member of county assembly. Yes. So what, is, what are they supposed to do in order to be a member of national now, ordinary now people's party? The benefit for this young person mm -hmm. is number one. What I assure, there is something that we lack in all other developed parties. Mm -hmm. That is party democracy. Okay? Mm -hmm. What we are bringing in this party is party democracy. democracy. You win through primaries, you get your nomination certificate. I don't want, it's not like what happens, I don't want to mention the other parties. Mm -hmm. You win, but you have the money. He wins, but you have the money. So I give you a certificate, you give me money. Okay? And then the, what people want doesn't get anything. Yeah? So I want to assure them political uh, party democracy whereby primaries goes to the favorite candidate. Yeah? Number two, we are giving finances to our candidates. Yeah? Members of county assembly, we finance them. We give them uh, motor vehicles. Members of parliament, we finance them. We give them motor vehicles. We had to agree on a on, uh, uh, figure that we'll give to the, to the MCAs and a figure that we'll give to the MPs. Equally, senators, governors, we'll finance them. We'll finance them. And who is financing the party? We have, we have, we have the back office who have financial muscles. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are good people out there with money and they want to bring in change. And they don't want to bring in change through these developed parties because they, they, it is not true. They don't <laughs> do it. Yeah? So you are giving them an opportunity? To bring change. I'm giving the rich an opportunity to bring change. So here is a party. party. Yes. You want to bring change? You here want to is sponsor party. someone? Here is the party. Give your money here. We yes. will deliver it to the yes. candidate. Very good. That's the thing. So what is the need for people that lose their the elections and they're still members of uh, no pay party, party. Yes. see now it depends with with the we will negotiate with the with the with the coalition that's gonna form government mm -hmm. yeah we don't want to be dissolved that is number one i assure people that we will not be dissolved by any big party because we are equally big yes yeah so we will not be dissolved at no point we will do post-election agreements we talk after. Yes. Not now. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> so you must be, In the government. party must be a member of a coalition. Yeah. So yes. does it mean then you're waiting to see <coughs> which coalition will be forming government for you to join them? Or you're offering Not, you yourself see, you also for other people to join you? You know, we will, we, of course, you, there's no single party that can form government. Mm -hmm. Governments, uh, since times for Kanu are formed by, by coalitions, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We are not waiting for to be for, for the we, we wouldn't know which party is gonna form government. But what I can assure you is we are not doing politics now. What we are doing is waiting for the right time to do politics. Right now we are giving the president a chance to do what? To deliver. So, so, mm -hmm. so we support the government, the government of the day. That's all I can tell you. But we are not looking for any coalition partners mm -hmm. for now. So once the president is done. We will, we will start politics. We will start politics. Yes, yes, I. I ni wakati ya job. All right. Yes. Now I can see a lot that uh, <coughs> from what you are actually doing, yes. you are a young person who has a political party. Yes. It's clear that you've gotten a lot of impact.
from uh, from coming from a family, mm. uh, from a political family. Yes. Now, if you may allow me, Kidogo, uh, to talk about your father, Honorable Mporo Abori, mm. who is a member of the East Africa Legislative Council. Yes. Does he mentor you politically? Ama alikuambia nini when you, you told him nimeanza chama? Unajua... Because he wasn't a member of Nopeu party when yes. you were starting. Yes. So it was a party yes. that you thought yes. about. Yes. yes. You know, uh, my father is, is of course, he mentors me. Mm -hmm. I am I've, I'm more of a fan to him than a son. Uh -huh. Yeah? <laughs> I love his way of politicking. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes, of course, we differ in, in politics, which is normal. Uh -huh. uh, but he mentors me. He's my biggest fan as well for the party. He's the biggest fan for the party. Mm -hmm. He's a member of, of, of Yala, but he's also a member of Jubilee Party. Uh -huh. But he, he's a big fan of my party. He mentors me positively. Mm -hmm. Yes. So have you ever found yourself somewhere? Unajua siasa lazima watu wagi. Hapana, uh -huh. ikuangi hivyo. Uh -huh. yeah, unajua, tuna argue. no. Sometimes, you, yeah. Umedipata, you argue. With him, maramob. Uh -huh. Mwakosa kusikizana. <laughs> Easy by election, na kona uyu mini kupande njigine. Namna yu, it's normal. Uh -huh. And it's healthy. You see, you can't just follow. Yes. What are people? You have your own way of doing things different from your parents. Isn't it? Yeah. And you need to be yourself anyway, eventually. Because I'm equally a uh, family man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own family, yeah. Oh, you're married? Yes, I'm married. Ah, oh, because Najua to Ingo Tanza Kunyambia Paho. We are men. Jesse. No Peu. No Peu. Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, and you have kids? Yes, I have kids. Uh huh. Two kids. Two kids. Yes. Ah, that's love. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you are a leader, Kwako. So, mkiagi mnagi politically, eh. kila mtu ende kiviyake. Kila mtu ende kiviyake. Na you've never differed. Unajua kuna watu wana differ wana politically, wana kosana. Apana. Uh -huh. Iyo ndiyo, ata mimi wambia raya. Yes. Viongozi ya wakosani. Yes. Viongozi ya wakosani kamwe. Uh -huh. Raya ndiyo wana kosana. Uh -huh. Na siyasa siyo ya kueka koro. Yes. Amanda kwa litoambia tuweke kwa lungs. Yes. <laughs> Tuweke kwa roo. That's the thing. That's the thing. Muna politik alafi hey, talk. Yeah. Uh -huh. Muna ungea siyasa kila mtu anauza sera yake. Yes. Because ukiangalia viongozi wote wako sawa. Dongo anywhere we'll be back with Rogers Kimpembe Mpuru. SG National Ordinary People Empowerment Union Party. Atuambie kama whether the party ikipata presidential candidate. Kama atamuwekea signature. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Roger Skimpembe on Jesse Junction. Welcome back to Jesse Junction and thank you for keeping it tuned to this show. Now, if in case you miss uh, this show, don't worry. It will be on YouTube. Go and subscribe on Jesse Junction on YouTube and you get to enjoy the full show, the unedited even longer one. But we are still here with Rogers Kipembe Mpuru, the Secretary General, National Ordinary People Empowerment Union yeah. Party. Yes. Sasa <laughs> You know, people have always known, unajua vijana when you exist in this Nairobi or in this country. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Cinema. No, Peu, yeah. Kipembe, yeah. where have you been all this long? I have been there in the... You know, I've been in the in the in the in the back office uh -huh. of politics. Uh -huh. I've been a financer, as I told you. I've been a sponsor of so many uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. But I decided to come to the limelight because this is like a dream. It's a vision, and I'm the only person who can deliver it because I am the one who feels it in my heart. Uh -huh. But I've been there. You've been there. Yes. Making kings. Making kings. Now, now let me ask. Uh, we have Waze. Ambao uh, amekuwa meshikilia siyasa. Wengi. Kwa mdua mrefu sana. Uh, pamoja na hayo, uh, you come from one family. Yenye kwa na mze moja pia. Yes. Ambaya amekuwa kwa siyasa kwa mdua mrefu. Yes. That is your father. Yes. So do you think kuna kitu ambayo Waze. Wanafanya ambayo you, you feel it's not the right way that is supposed to be done. 
Unajua unajua wazee wakati mwingi hawapendi kuambiwa ukweli. Yes. But the truth of the matter is that wazee I think power is so sweet. Wazee they don't want to go home. They don't want to go home. And I'm hoping sisi hii generation yetu tuki wale tuna sponsor sasa hii wakichukua leadership hawatakwama. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They should, you know, there, are, there is technology today. Things change every day. Every single day there is a new thing. You know, we, we uh, back then, we, we, our fathers and us, we thought a steering had to be like this. Yeah? But now we, a, a steering Tesla is, <laughs> is like a, a PlayStation. Yes. Yeah? Now things change. And these was this. Sometimes they're, they're not updated. The way of doing politics has changed. The way of gov the way of governing the country has changed. So they should just agree. Angalau wa retire hata kama ni nusu wa wao waende nyumbani. Ikuwe ni gradual change. Yes. Nusu waende. Also wawezi enda. Also wawezi enda wote mara moja. Kuna vijana crazy wata wata chizi. So we need our say hapo. Wasaidia vijana kuelewa. Eh lakini waitikie waende nyumbani. Uh -huh. Talking of wazee uku kuamilia hapo na wengine wame 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 kosa kukua updated yeah. in your personal level yeah. na baba yako yes. who has been a politician yeah. ushawai mkosoa ushawai mwambia hapa ulikosea ama hapa ufai kuenda hivi na kakusikia kama kijana ambaya yako updated eh hey, yes but you know my father is approaching 60 mm -hmm. yeah he has been a one-term member of parliament. So he has not been in politics. He has been making leaders. Uh -huh. He has not been in politics all years. This is the second term. Uh, I mean, this is the first he term. He was also a councillor. He was a councillor when he was young, in, in, in the, when he was 30. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. When I was 60, kufika, 60, 50, hapa, when I update bio every day, and in the day, when I was a yeah? Lakini kuna wale wazee tunasemea wako huko juu bro. Yeah, they don't want to go. Hato kima update ashiki. <laughs> yeah? Na ukijaribu kumcorrect sana. Yes. Anono mekua rude. Yes. You know? But him he takes corrections. Him is a, is a, is a, is a good, good, good uh, learner. At least he is a little he bit young. He's not very old. He's not very old. Yeah. He sasa, is not very old. Sasa, na kutana na wale wazee sasa hao tunasemea. Hapo mbele, mm. ukajaribu kuambia. Unajua hao sasa hata ehima iruhusu uambie maneno mingi. Wewe ni correct sana. Uh -huh. Yeah, they don't take corrections. Again you cannot. You know there are things you cannot tell them. Yeah. Unawaangalia tu na wacha wafanye mistake kwa kufanya mistake tu ta correct wakienda. Wakisonga tafanya. Wakisonga. Una correct. Tuta correct. Ndio hiyo. Na sasa hata ukiona ndio hao anabeba pesa. Ah wana inapotea uh -huh. that they can't trace you know the reason why young people are mad with government if you can allow me to yes. to to say this i think and you'll give me your opinion young people are so updated yes so techno savvy yes. whereby wanajua uh, with technology you can trace anything anywhere yes mwizi akiiba hapa hivi kino kidogo yes. na tuko na cctv camera tuone hiyo image tutumie DCI they are forensics they are able to tell to tell and track this person yes. we have seen it on social media hata watu wakishikwa walionyeshwa facebook tu na polisi wakaweza kuwashika yes. so meaning technology is actually working yes now pesa imepotea yes. 2 billion every day 2 billion si president alisema 2 billion inapotea every day young people know very well with technology, you can, you can trace pesa ilikuwa hapa, treasury, ikatoka, ilienda hapa, with technology. Yes. So, wa, how waze wana, eh. wana, according to maoni yenye, <laughs> watu wana peana hata hapo, eh. wana, vijana wana feel ni kama, how waze wana tubeba malenge sana. Uh -huh. What's your opinion about such issues of corruption in the country? That tunangalia tunona very well. Ah, pesa metoka <coughs> treasury. See, you can trace it this way. And, waze amba watakwambia apana, hakuendangi hivo. So, where do you correct? Ama tutangoja zipotezo ote, ndiyo tukingia hapo, 
tujaribu ku correct your system your opinion my opinion uh, you know corruption our there wamefanya kama course uh-huh. yeah <laughs> yeah course ya shule ni kama course bro <laughs> Our the corruption bro uh-huh. technology inaweza shindo kuwashika uko <laughs> <laughs> watu kwa government uh-huh. kazi yao ni kuchora uh-huh. wanachora hiyo pesa inatoka hivi inaenda hivi itaenda kabla irudi uh-huh. imepiga thousands of miles yeah so we need to get the root kini mwanzilishi mwanzo lecturer ule anajua hii sinema yote ikianza vile inaendaga <laughs> sio hao wajuu hao wakulaji wanakula kidogo 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 mm-hmm. but there are those people in government that we need to get rid of they are not even politicians technocrats people have been serving the government they know everything wanajua kila kitu ambayo inafanyika ndani ya serikali those are the people that we should get rid of now you rogers on an individual capacity mm. you sound like wewe kwa sababu hata kwa biblia kulikuwa na ule jamaa alikuwa anaitwa joseph aliota ndoto ya change mm-hmm. akaambi ah, ah, ni farao ndiye aliota ndoto ya change mm-hmm. huyu jamaa akamtafsiria akamwambia vile anafaa kufanya mm-hmm. akamwambia kuna faa kukaa hivi, hivi na hivi na hivi, na hivi. Mm-hmm. farao akauliza ni nani anaweza basi fanya hivyo mm-hmm. huyu jamaa akamwambia wewe tafuta Hmm. Lakini baadaye akamwambia basi wewe juu unajua si ufanye basi. Sasa kwa sababu wewe unajua hmm. viongozi hawafai kupatia raia pesa. Hmm. Na wewe unajua pia kiongozi afai pia kuiba. Kuiba. Eh? Uh-huh. Ndiye tile pesa ya kampeni. Uh-huh. Mbona wewe usiku wewe kiongozi na umesema utaki kuvaa hizi ndio? Uh-huh. Ati unaweza kuwa kiongozi bila Uh-huh. bila hiyo lakini unaona hakuna mali serikali imekupatia responsibility mm. ya pesa ambayo unafaa kufanya na development kwa constituency au county au kwa national or national in the mm. country no, so mimi, wewe mbona mimi, mbona usi, mimi, usikue mmoja wale wanaleta hata change hata nikikuwa mmoja wale watu wanaleta change how, how much can i do how far can i go yeah will i be a member of county assembly i'll be a member of county assembly in one word If I become a parliament is one constituency. If is a, is a senator one one uh, county. Governor one county. I'd rather field people. No. Umesahau um, moja. Umefika kwa county, governor uh, yeah. one county. Eh uh-huh. yeah, Next yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one country. Yeah, rais. Yeah, rais, let me tell you bro. Let us not lie to each other. Hakuna chama ambayo sasa hii iko na nguvu. Hata UDM yeye form government kiu yake. Hata Jubilee cannot form a government. In fact Jubilee is a coalition of parties. So many parties. Ili meze ka iliuza ili buy. Ili buy ka buy mpaka nyingine nilikuwa inaitwa basi huko Meru. Sasa yes. No people cannot form government on its own. We have to form government through coalition partners. Yeah? Sasa ndio sababu nakwambia mimi sitaki kula. Nataka ni field watu ambao wamevetiwa na watu ambao tumeangalia kama chama ni watu wa hekma ni watu wanaelewana na raia tunawavet tunawa sponsor na pesa na mali na tunawapigia debe wanaingia bunge that will bring change more change than mimi nikiwa kipembe niende kwa ballot how far can i go bro so if someone comes and wants to be yes a president na hana chama anataka chama ah. ya nopeu yes nopeu party yes utampatia certificate mm-hmm. immediately why not why not auze sera zake kwa chama akuje kwa voting board ya chama akuje ajeleze kwa chama tutampatia certificate kama anafaa kama afai no peo so sia ti chama imefungia presidential aspirant chama haijafungia presidential aspirants uh-huh. haijafungia haijafungia but to vet properly proper vetting tukikosa tuta discuss mbele Mm-hmm. Eh, yeah, we'll discuss <laughs> the other people. Na tukipata no peo. No. <laughs> so hii ndio sign ya chama. Sign ya chama ni hii. Okay. Hii no ni ya kufukuza wale wafanyi wera. 
So mbunge akiingia corruption no peu no yes. MCA kakitajo huko kanaibaiba kanafanywa hivyo no. Na wa, sasa hii unajua eh. ni kufukuza the sitting. Eh? Oh na wale wako. Wale wako ambao wafanyi kazi eh. wote no peu. No peu. <laughs> <laughs> ah Rogers Kipembe. Uh-huh. So now uh, baba yako mm. will live by with no peu. Yeah, he is a is a is a fan and he will be candidate. Atarana. I just to ambia lakini ni member of jubilee sasa hii kwa sababu nilimpeleka bunge. Uh-huh. But hoping atarana nayo. Yes. Be, because the party is popular anyway. Yes. In the mountain it is very popular. Oh. Very popular. Twende huko basi tuambie governor arana nayo pia. Eh, yeah, akitaka governor. Uh-huh. Ni njoo lakini sasa wale ndio uh-huh. sikia governor anataka kuform chama. Yes. Let me just uh, I can talk about it. Yes. You know there is no need of another political party from Meru. Mm-hmm. It beats common sense. Because if you want a political party as a community. Yes. How many political parties do you want? You want to be, Meru Kiretu Murungi is making Meru you want to make us look like the, the like the Mulembe nation. Mm-hmm. Whereby they have like three political parties, there is no common leadership. So they will never be united. Yeah? If Meru's want a political party. Why form another political party? We have a political party, no peu. Yes. Let Kreto come into no peu. Let him bring his own ideas of whatever he want to be written in the manifestos of the party. And then we will discuss and put it in. If he wants to be a member of, of, the, of the council, because he's, he's Amze and he has Busara, we'll yes. put it in. Yes. Lakini kusema, eti tunataka chama yetu. Ya kupeleka wapi nyingine. That means there's a motive behind mm-hmm. that statement of tunataka chama yetu. Uh-huh. Because if there wasn't a motive, why not get into what is already there? What is already formed? Yeah? Mm-hmm. But he had, we had a party. Bus for the Mount Kenya East. Yes. Lakini ilipigwa mnada. Ya? Yeah? Ikabomolewa ikengia kwa mfuko yao? Ya watu. So, people don't want to repeat the same mistake. They don't want to repeat the same mistake that we did. Entrusting a political party to individuals, wanauza bila kutuuliza sisi raia ambao ni wanachama, mm-hmm. alafu, Badae mnasema, tunataka nyingine. Uliaminiwa first time. Second time is not possible, bro. So I want to request the governor of Meru to join the party. Yes. But so is the governor of the Rakanithi. Yes. Mudhami Njoki. Mudhami Njoki. Yes. yes. Because other counties, Kirinyaga, they are in the party. Isiolo, they in the party. Uh-huh. Yeah. The, the farmers, the, the, the wakulima wa ngombe kule nudhista ni yote wako kwa chama. So wakuna mana ya chama nyingine? Hii imetosha. Hii imetosha. It's yeah. enough. And it's a national it's party. It's equally a party. Hakuna yeah. eti waterformu ikuwe na certificate ya yellow na hii. <laughs> it's equally a party. <laughs> eh, eh. Nilikuwa yeah. na candidates. Yes. I've, I had the candidates kwa ballot uh, 15th December. Mm-hmm. Muranga, Kiambu County. You know, and they performed equally well. They didn't win, but they mm-hmm. f- performed equally well. Uh, so it's a political party that can field candidates. Yes. So our wanataka waingie kwa ichama. Wow. Yes. May I wish you all the best. Asante sana. Roger Ndubu. Kipembe. Shukran. Mporo. Ab- mporo ab- Rogers Kipembe Mporo. mporo. Tosha. Ie metosha. Mporo is the surname. Yes. Yes. And uh, it's the very, secretary it's, it's very hard to fit in his shoes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now by the way, um, uh, your father Mporo. Yes. Watu wanasema wamefanana sana na baba. Best ya Jacob. Best ya Jacob. Mm, best Wame, tu. Ni kufanana tu juu ya urafiki. Yes, siwezi jua bro. Ama, ama, ama kuna si, vile. Siwezi jua. You are not born. I wasn't. Auskiangi ni kama ku attracted to the <laughs> Odinga family. <laughs> no, we are friends. Eh. We are friends with the with them. Mume fanana sana na yofa. We are friends with them there and everyone else. Okay. They are good people. <laughs> they are good people. <laughs> they are good people. Very good people. Project Kipembe Mporo, Secretary General National Ordinary People Empowerment Union Party. Yeah. Also known as Nopeu. Nope.
na iko hapa kufagia wale ambao hawafanyi kazi wale wote wako huko na hawafanyi kazi wanaambiwa nope no pe hizi on Jesse Junction don't go anywhere we'll be right back on Jesse Junction Rogers Kimpembe Mpuru on Jesse Junction one of the youngest people ambao anacheza cheza mambo ya siasa hapa na pale to make sure that kuna vijana wengi wameingia kwenye siasa actually he reminds me of one great quote by Adolf Hitler that says he that has the youths has the future thank you for watching Jesse Junction see you next week god bless you so far so good.